what is up everybody just wanted to show you this I've got the smoker going let me show you this here that is a 12 ounce fillet what I am doing because I got some unexpected money refunded to me from my dad's uh, insurance uh, health insurance they prorated it for the two days that he was still alive before the premium so I got uh, some money back so I decided that I was gonna go get a fillet probably the last steak I'm gonna have for a while because they are very expensive and I figure my dad will buy me a steak tonight for dinner so that's what I'm doing I'm making the fillet I just put it on it is 20 after 4 probably won't be done until I'm guessing probably close to 6 o'clock smoking really good I didn't put any of the extra wood chips I got in there I'm going straight off of the the hickory uh, pellets in here But you can see, smoking up pretty good. Neat temperature, I just took it out of the freezer, it's 44 degrees. Smoking up real good. Got a feeling this one's gonna be really, really good. So, thanks dad, for the steak tonight. Wish you could be here to have one with me, but uh, it is what it is, and I will talk to you later. What is up everybody? Good Saturday afternoon to you. It is a really nice, I think it's only like 73 degrees right now, 73 degree day. It's supposed to drop down to the lower 50s, upper 40s tonight. But, so that should be nice. Uh, anyway though, as you just seen, probably if I did this right, dropped in this time lapse of me going over the walls with the mop and the dish soap and the vinegar uh concoction to get the rest of that residue off the wall getting ready to paint it and i did get this stuff today i gotta show you this otoban now i found this stuff through these people that i watch on uh, youtube from uh, spalding i think it's spalding decontaminant they're the company that goes into like crime scenes and like where people die in their houses or commit suicide and they've been laying there for days and it's all gunky and in the floor and smells real bad. That's the stuff that they use to deodorize their, uh, hold on here. That's the stuff they use to deodorize their uh, rooms and that. So I bought me a gallon of it, concentrate, it should make about 30 gallons. I just sprayed the walls in my dad's room there it's got a nice eucalyptus scent to it is what it says it smells really good i'm gonna wait now a couple hours go back in there see if it the smell is still gone and see how good it does i might have to spray the walls again one more time but we will see but anyway guys saturday afternoon not really doing much today kind of cloudy overcast but uh i'll talk to you later good evening everybody it is sunday night it is going down to about 43 degrees tonight so i do have okay i gotta turn this down i do have the fire going in my bedroom just lit it it's a little small right now it is going to get bigger trust me it will get bigger but yeah, I got it going tonight, um, tomorrow, today was beautiful, it was only like 70 degrees today, it was really, really nice. But gonna get cold tonight, the house out there is gonna be cold tomorrow morning, I don't have the heat on, I'm not gonna turn the heat on, I got the fireplace going in my room now. Uh, warm up the room, gonna get nice and toasty for the night, this will make it 
nice and warm for several several hours so I'm gonna sit here it's uh, a little after 10 o'clock right now I'm gonna be on the computer here for a little bit and then I'm gonna go to sleep dive under the covers go to sleep and then when I wake up in the morning it's gonna be very very cool very very cold but I'm sure it will feel good wanted to show you later I did just pull up the floor. It actually came up really easy. A lot easier than I thought. The only issue I have here is I'm not exactly sure what they did here. Looks like they took a groove out of the tile. I'm not sure what I'm gotta do there. I gotta look into that more. It looks like it's a small little piece of tile that they put in there. I gotta clean it up real good and see if there's actually a seam there that I can maybe break that piece out so that when I put the carpet in, it goes in real nice. But yeah, floor is up. I'm gonna leave that underlayment down until, uh, probably till I'm done painting. Just so, I mean, it's not gonna hurt it if it gets on the, on the concrete anyway, it's all gonna be under the carpet anyway, but I think I'm gonna leave that down uh, until I'm done painting. And that bending over stuff kills me. <laughs> I wish I was 25 years old, man. I could just get down on my knees and just pop that stuff up, no problem. But yeah, it's it's a little bit of a chore now. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, let's see, it's Wednesday. About 130, 78 degrees, going up to 81 today. Should be kind of nice down tonight to 66, it says. So I'm going to open my doors up here a little bit. And uh, just kind of enjoy this day for a couple hours until I have to run out here in a little while. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that. Floor is up. Making progress. I'm getting there slowly but surely. Later, guys. All right, guys, I got to tell you this, too. But this uh, kills restoration stain blocking uh, paint. When I first put it on, it smells like paint. But then as it starts to dry and... I don't know if it's just because of the formulation of that being different with the sealer and stain blocker and all that stuff in there. But as it dries, it smells like kind of like rotting fish. It does not have a good smell to it. So I've been having to keep that door closed and the windows in there open because, I mean, it just, I don't know, it just smells, you know, like I said, when it's going on, it smells like fresh paint, which I love that smell. But then as it dries, I don't know, man, it just, it smells kind of like rotten fish. Not real bad stench of rotting fish, but it has that smell of, like, it's off in the distance somewhere and you just get a little whiff of it. So I don't know. I still got the second coat to put on there, which I'm probably doing another day or two. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, guys, man, that stuff smells, does not smell very good as it's drying. Just put it that way. Later. What is up everybody? Good afternoon. It is Thursday, late morning, early afternoon. I'm going to show you what I just did here. This chair here, it was uh, my dad's lift chair. It automatically, you know, it would go up to help him stand up, go down, you know, by pushing these buttons here. Well, what happened several, several years ago is what I believe the transformer went out on it. 
So it would not work and it was locked in this position. You could not move it, you couldn't manually do it, you couldn't do anything. So I'm gonna show you what I did to free that up to make it into a recliner again. Let me flip this over and I'll show you. All right guys, so right here is the transformer that is bad. I have power going all the way into it. I checked it with my meter. Power going all the way into it to the transformer. Coming out of the transformer, I've got absolutely nothing. So that's what the problem is. So now, this chair was locked in the sit position. Now what I did, this little thing right here was, I can't move it now, but that was connected right there by a pin that went through there. And that's what was keeping it from moving because the chair was locked in that position with that piston on there. It was locked in that position keeping it you know stable that's what they do they they move real slow uh up and down you know to help somebody uh get up and down who disabled like that but i disconnected that piston at that one bracket and now i'll show you hold on okay see and now i can sit in it and i can recline back have my feet up sit in the chair i now have a recliner again it's not automatic like it should be. I don't know how much those transformers are. Not even gonna look for one at this point, but at least it works. I can sit, recline, and watch TV. Just thought I'd show you that. It took me 30 minutes to figure all that out. But that's it, later. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Today, this is something that I have had now. <laughs> I've had these for probably six months these uh they're blue light bulbs and i am finally going to put them in my lights out here in my screen room now this is by the pool out here i've always wanted to change those to the blue lights so when i come out here at night i can uh turn them on nice blue glow those of you that know me know i like that blue glow i like that calming blue light feeling so i'm gonna get you set up here i'm gonna take out those old light bulbs which have been in there for i think pretty much since i put them up <laughs> but they're, they're hardly they're never used that's why i've never changed them so i'm gonna take those out hopefully they won't break hopefully they're not rusted in there and switch it to the blue ones and then i'll be back with you when i'm done So I gotta figure out how to get those light bulbs out. I just need to get the two white ones that are showing up there. I just need to get those out so I can replace them with the blue. The other ones I got a little bit loose so they're not connecting anymore. But I gotta try to get those other ones out. And I gotta figure out how to do that. I had a feeling they'd be rusted in there. They've been in there for, what, 15, 16 years? <laughs> so, later. What is up everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Subscribers, I love you. Non-subscribers, I love you too. But please hit the subscribe button. Help me out. <laughs> anyway guys, that was this week. Uh, basically my last week of uh, having time to do stuff around the house because starting Monday, two days from now, I'm going to be going to work for UPS. Now, it's only temporary. It's only probably going to be for the month of December, I'm guessing, um, being a driver's helper. But uh, I'm not going to have time, as much time anymore, to be filming stuff and doing stuff around the house. I'm basically just going to have, you know, when I get home from work and at, you know, weekends, whatever. So, I'm not really sure how these weekly videos are going to go for the next month or so. But uh, I'm going to try to keep doing stuff. i got some stuff banked that I can put together into videos, stuff that I've done before. I've got some projects that I'm going to do this weekend um, to try to get done before I start the work on Monday. And uh, I'll just try to keep the content coming. But the taste test challenges, they will be going up every Tuesday morning still. Because I've got, I've got like 9 or 10 of them already done. I've got four or five more that I can do, you know, 
over the next several days or so to get a nice good bank. I've got about two months already uh, already done. So those are going to keep coming. I know you guys like those better than, than these weekly ones. But anyway, I wanted to show you this. I had to get these boots. Steel toe leather boots for working UPS. They will not let you work on a truck if you don't have these. I've never had to get these before in my life. And this thing weighs... <laughs> this is heavy. I put these on when I got them and I walked around for a day or two because I just want to make sure that I'm not going to get any blisters or anything, which I think I still might on the back of my right foot. Um, it's got a little bit of a rubbing issue there that I'm still trying to figure out. I'm going to try figuring it out over the weekend um, how that's going to work out. But those things are heavy. I put those, it's like I got two casts, one on each foot. When, when I got those on, because they're heavy. And then trying to drive a car, I mean, it's very different working the pedals with that big, huge thing on your foot. But, I mean, I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. Um, like I said, it's, I had to buy them. It seems kind of senseless for one month of work, but had to buy them. But anyway, that's nothing you can do about it is what it is. But uh, we'll see how that job goes. Um... I really like the Uber that I'm doing because it gives me a lot of freedom on my time. You know, if I got something I need to do, I can stop driving, take care of it, and go back, you know, start back up again. If I'm waiting for a delivery or I need to do something, I can just, you know, sit there and wait or whatever. But now going back to work again, which I haven't done in really like a year and a half at a company per se where I actually have to be there every day. Um, so it's going to be a little bit getting used to again. Um, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Most times you're excited to start a new job or whatever. I'm really not that excited to start this job. I'm really not. I kind of like the way the Uber thing is working out for me and my schedule right now. But I figure it's only for a month. I could probably do it for four weeks. You know, just to see how it goes. You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of heavy lifting and stuff, so that's another concern of mine that I've been thinking of, you know, with my back and everything, um, how well that's going to play out. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out in the next week or two. I will keep you guys updated best I can on that. But anyway, guys, that was this week's Around the House. Still working on my dad's room. I still got to paint the ceiling and all that. And, you know, that's work in progress. It's going to be for several more months. But anyway, guys, that's it around the house. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you would. Come back on Tuesday for a taste test challenge. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I'm not done with Thanksgiving yet. I got today. My neighbor across the street bought a bunch of steaks. Not a bunch, but a few steaks. And I got potatoes that I'm going to make. I'm going to fire up the smoker here in about another two, three hours and make us a kind of second Thanksgiving meal with steaks and potatoes. So anyway, that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Uh, yeah, that's basically about it, guys. Later.